Ah, excellent! My Seeker Armada is ready! And now, we will vanquish the Autobot Resistance and- What the heck is going on here? What do you mean, Lord Megatron? Yeah, we're just standing here. What do I mean? Look at the two of you! You look completely identical, I can't tell you apart! Well, the thing is, Lord Megatron, I was custom painted to look like Thundercracker before he was even released, so what do you want me to do about it? I know exactly what you can do! What you need is a fresh coat of paint! Foxatron! I'm on it. Hey guys, Foxatron Prime here. Now, I know some of you have been wanting me to do a tutorial of how I custom paint my Transformers Seekers, so I'm gonna give it to you right here, right now. So let's get right into the video. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Why am I gonna be painting over such a nice custom? But don't get me wrong, I do love this, but the thing is, they finally, we finally have a proper Thundercracker and I don't need two in my shelf or even in my collection for that matter. So I'm going to attempt to make this figure look like the first Seeker we see in the opening scene of the Bumblebee movie. The one that has a nice bright blue and yellow and I, I, it's just basically a foot soldier. I know some, I think some call it Dirge, so I'm going to attempt that. The paint I use for doing my customs is called Painter's Touch. Now. What I, now the thing is, I would not recommend using this paint for uh, airbrush because it just gets clogged in, in, into the uh, well into the mechanism. So I wouldn't recommend it. And besides, it's actually recommended for paint brushes like these. So I would highly recommend using paint brushes when using Painters Touch paint. If you can, if you have airbrush, by all means, acrylic is also useful for customs because uh, that could be used for both airbrush and uh, paint brushes. But the thing is, is that it rubs off really easily and doesn't dry fast enough. That's what I love about Painter's Touch. So we're going to use the yellow and apply it to all the red sections of this figure. And uh, we'll see how that turns out. So let's get a move on. So uh, for the, uh, I'm going to start off with the larger sections of the red. So I'll be using the bit much thicker brush for this. Like so. There we are. Okay. So let's get started. So we're gonna, like I said, we're going to start on the red section. So... Before you even start, I recommend taking off all uh, ac all removable accessories, such as the blaster, which, if I can even remove this, come on. There we go. Okay, so uh, also remove the wing parts, as well as the little missiles, and um, yeah, I, th I think that's it. And uh, basically, anything loose, just take it off. So basically, you want to be very gentle when it comes to painting it because you don't want it to make it look too much like a brush stroke. So just like that. There we go. So yeah, it, th this paint dries really fast, by the way. It, so it's really, really handy. Like if you make a mistake, you can just scrape it off with a pen or even a paper clip. Oh, there we are. Okay, so I'm going to speed run through this and just commentate over it. So yeah, I've been painting my Transformers for quite a considerable amount of time. And uh, after that, I do actually get impressed the more time I do it. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm no professional. There are some people out there who put full effort into it, but I just don't have the patience for that. That's just the thing. So, if Aiden, this is a tutorial for amateurs, or amateurs, depending on the pronunciation. The thing is, I play with my figures, and I intend to always, I intend to use them for skits and videos, and especially the new my new series coming up. So. I, I really want to have as many different kinds of seekers as possible. I could easily make this like Dreadwing, and, but I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to completely overhaul this figure with nice light blue. It, just to, that way it looks like the seeker from the star of Bumblebee. Now, when it comes to painting very, very thin details, like the thin red lines, I highly recommend either using the tip of your brush or a pen or even just a very thin brush because uh, these details are very very small and it's very very difficult i mean i know a lot of people not everyone will have delicate hands like i do i'm very very good with my hands so you might have to find another means but um but if you can manage it then that's good so i would start i just start off by painting the po uh, well the bigger parts first because it's easier and then i start getting into the details now, again, I'm going to speed run through this uh, just because it takes a while to paint this. I mean, honestly, this took me about a couple of hours to, be, to paint this entire figure. So, yeah, it, it's actually really, really, it's tricky. I mean, custom customizing figures is not for everyone. I completely agree with that. I mean, if you can find someone who can do it, then that's great. But it's just, it, I don't think they're really easy to find. And me, I don't really do commissions. So, if you're going to ask me to paint any figures, um, please don't because I'm no professional. 
and honestly it can be quite stressful sometimes especially if you get it wrong because i once painted my optimus prime to look more like well very much like the premium finish of optimus prime from the bumblebee film and it was quite disastrous it looked good at first i have a review of it in uh, in my playlist somewhere but it's just the red when i painted over the red and the blue it just looked all wrinkly and it just looked gross and i, I kind of i just sold that figure because i just didn't like it but i did that after i got uh like a new one and new version so yeah don't, yeah don't sell it immediately <laughs> so anyway oh and yeah definitely remove the hands as well like i said remove any accessories that are removable because uh, that way you don't end up painting over them by accident now granted painting over these things is messy it really can be at sometimes but luckily because transformers figures like have deep molding into them like little crevices inside they're very very useful for scraping like any excess paint away so because because like even though it won't look pretty at first and you might even be disappointed don't be because honestly patience is key when it comes to painting transformers figures or any figures in general i usually just like paint paint all the initial color first and then just start detailing it with by scraping away any paint i don't need and it with the final result honestly it's worth it if you ask me okay that's all the yellow parts and i have to admit it looks good he actually looks like dreadwing bizarrely enough thanks to the dark blue but i'm not going to be doing that so it's time to paint pretty much most of the figure except for the white parts i'm going to leave those because but that's actually accurate so basically i'm going to use aqua blue with a touch of um dark blue and mix it together because um the aqua blue is too bright and you'll just well it will actually be kind of an eyesore so um what i'm gonna do i'm gonna like use the lid it's actually very good for mixing i recommend it so i put a blob of blue in there uh, of the aqua blue and then put dark blue in there and uh, let's see how it turns out so like i like i always do i just start with the bigger sections first it's always a good start and yeah this, this blue is already starting to look nice now the thing about painter's touch is that it like i said it dries really quickly so that way that way you don't have to wait it's really really handy i i really that's why i really love this paint and i mean granted it's not the smoothest paint in the world especially after a considerable amount of time because sometimes it can get a bit wrinkly sometimes but it, but for the moment you're using it it's totally worth using and there we are look at that it that's actually actually pretty good and basically i start off by using the brightest shade possible first because the bright side of this is that it doesn't dry too fast enough for you to correct your mistake so that way i can take some dark blue add it to the to the current paint and mix it in and it mixes really quickly so that way I can control the shade to make it as dark as I want or as bright as I want. Okay, I'm going to speed run through this and uh, uh, there might even be some skipping involved. So just so that way I can just skip through the entire job because honestly, guys, you need to understand painting these things takes a, quite a long time depending on how big the figure is or how detailed it is or how much parts you need to paint. So like doing an overhaul so doing an overhaul like this requires a lot of time and, and especially patience honestly it's truly key to making really good customs whereas me like i have lots of patience to spare so doing this is like no problem for me i don't do this often because sometimes it can get stressful because like it is a lot of work and like i said if i really want to do it and if i have the, the time to do it and the passion to do it i do it that's the best time to do it don't do it just like you need to kind of plan and actually imagine what your figure is going to look like and that's what i do as soon as i know what i want what colors i want to use what shade i want i then do it at, right after that okay there we go that's most of the figure painted up and my my it is really starting to come around yes yeah, it kind of looks like a racing tr transformer i'm not gonna lie but eh, don't ruin it so right so now we're going to use white paint and start painting here here and as well as the feet so we're going to paint as much as we can to make this figure start making start making it look like the seeker so uh again i use painter's touch like i said i mean all the paints i use is painter's painter's touch but considering over time i haven't used it it does kind of dry up because of the oxygen uh, that gets inside the little caps uh, capsule so 
I recommend using maybe acrylic because that's actually a good substitute but it doesn't dry as fast and it, it's really easy to rub off so it can get a bit frustrating whereas but like I said with painter touch it doesn't rub off too easy and especially when it's dry it's almost impossible to rub off uh, so you, and I definitely don't recommend scraping it it's not pleasant because it takes like a long time I am not joking it takes a long time to scrape the paint off that's why I just paint over it it's, it's a far better result and it's you save so much time right so let's skip over me painting over the white parts and uh, we'll see the final result well here we have it guys that is the seeker all painted up and i have to say it looks great i'm really really pleased with this right let's get the accessories on this guy so first off we'll start off with the wee missiles just clip them right into the wings like so there we go okay let's get the other one clip that right in and uh, now for the wings now the thing about the wings is i'm gonna put the wrong ones on each side because the thing is the seeker's wings point downwards as you can see so i'm just gonna click them in like this there we go oh that that fits really really well i'm really pleased with that so we'll just do the same for the other one now granted when i have to transform i will have to switch them back obviously because uh, it just won't work if i didn't but uh yeah there we go look at that that that's great i love that Okay, oh, and uh, don't forget the hands. There we go. Uh, where's the other one? Ah, there we are. Uh, right, and just click that right in. And now, last but not least, the gun. So now we'll just put the gun right in his arm, just like so, and there we are. We have him, guys. That is the Seeker all finished up, and my, my, I'm really, really happy with this. Like I said, it's not perfect. It's not, like incredible it's not professional right? but honestly for what it is i'm really happy with it i think it looks good it looks like the seeker i was planning to paint and i am pleased with the result so uh let's take a look at what it looks like in vehicle mode here we are i have to say that is an eyesore of a vehicle <laughs> i mean it's so bright but that is the way the seeker is supposed to look and uh you know what i i, I'm, I dig it i like it it's unique it's unique for a seeker and it looks good next to the other two so, yep, welcome to the club. Ah, excellent! You look wonderful, Dirge! At least I can tell you to report now! Right, now get out there and crush the Autobot resistance once and for all! <laughs> and there you go, guys. That is how I custom paint my Transformers figures. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed making this figure. And uh, be sure to follow me on Twitter, like and subscribe, and roll out!